Before technology tamed the mind, when a woman started humming to an animal's call. And that was the beginning of the yes, y'all. A yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. What? It's like that, it's like that, it's like that, y'all. What? It's like that, y'all. What? It's like that, y'all. What? Like what? Really? Shit's like that. <laughs> so, once again, here we come again. Needing to feel what it means to be skinny. To feel the systole and the diastole getting rolled into poetry, music, funk, hop, and soul. We know the body has intelligence of which the intellect cannot dismiss a consequence of bioculture role experience. But let's take a quick trip and get a sense of what it means for you and me to have become human beings. Back in a time which we cannot recall, our ancestors drummed in the hum of night up under these same stars. They believed were gods that shine down as they danced by the firelight. Their bodies casting shadows, voices started grunting, imitating animals they knew they would be hunting on the next day to provide sustenance for the tribe. This was a ritual intended to recognize that life is born of death like sunrise and set cycling from east to west. The drums would beat, feet began to step, moving from right to left. The men left as the chants began to rise from the women's breath. This is why music and poetry cause the blood. It's been this way since we crawled from the mud. An ancient thing banging in the body and mind that we've been grooving to, baby, since the dawn of time. So check it. Let's take you back to the dawn of time. Before technology tamed the mind, a man took his hands and began to clap. And that was the beginning of the boom, boom, bap. Let's take you back to the dawn of time. Before technology tamed the mind, a woman started humming to an animal's call. And that was the beginning of the yes, y'all. A yes, yes, y'all. What? A yes, yes, y'all. What? It's like that. It's like that. It's like that, y'all. What? It's like that, y'all. What? It's like that, y'all. What? It's like that, 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 that. So whether. Irish or English or Spanish, Danish or Swedish or Polish, Russian or Turkish, Italian, German or Kurdish, Japanese or Assyrian, Japanese or Armenian, Portuguese or Hungarian, Hebrew, Zulu, Bavarian, no matter the tongue you speak, the language it has a beat, the body instinctively can translate into music. See, what science has found is we are creatures of sound. Our ears need to seek rhythmic patterns in human speech, like the words of spinning. Hear the rhythm that's in them, even before you get a hint of any content of kicking. You first think nothing of it, but the verbal percussion begins to draw it in your blood and then your head. Your pulses rushing, your pulses get to throbbing, your head begins to bobbing, you feel that the effect of what the rhythm has been plotting, it's gotten you to synchronize alpha waves and realize rhythms more than music, but structurally it underlies each and every atom to plasma scattered on Saturn. Every stage of matter is organized in rhythmic patterns, which are architectonic. Everything has a tonic, everything has a cycle, a cipher, a phonic, a sonic, every life depends upon it. We're engineered to want it, this thing that refrains, remains, comes back is chronic, this thing that haunts us all. Like a ghost in the mind we've been dancing with y'all since the dawn of time. So check it. Let's take you back to the dawn of time. Before technology tamed the mind, a man took his hands and began to clap. And that was the beginning of the boom, boom, bap. Let's take you back to the dawn of time. Before technology tamed the mind, a woman started humming to an animal's call. And that was the beginning of the yes, y'all. Yes, 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 yes, y'all.